Brothers of America Dead Reaction. We're on season four, episode 14. Bar Mitzvah Hustle. Okay. I'm very curious about this episode because I actually don't know who this episode could be about because obviously there's a Bar Mitzvah involved. I don't know. Maybe it's Roger because wasn't he one of his personas? Wasn't he Jewish in one of his personas? I think it was that one episode where he was getting married to that woman that ended up marrying that, that like, what's his name? Buckle. I think that was his name. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's Roger. But yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't know who else it could possibly be about, so we might as well just get into this, let's go. Oh shit, Debbie's in it. Okay, Debs. I swear to God, Steve there. and fucking Debbie seem to be the most inconsistent couple. Wait, that wasn't me? I would never. <laughs> okay, how loud is that fart thing? That, like, they could hear it from that far away. It throws farts up to 100 yards. Okay, well, then. if it makes you happy. <laughs> so happy. I mean, it has a two fair enough. Fart library that analyzes your laughter and recommends farts based on your what? community sense of... Okay, that's a fucking amazing-ass technology for something that stupid. Oh, that is nice. Hey, guys. Hey, Snot. You know Aton, my bar mitzvah study but Oh, wait, it's about Snot? I didn't realize that he was Jewish. I didn't know you were so spiritual, Aton. Okay. Hey, I'm spiritual too. <laughs> See, I'm you're really not. Ghosts. Oh well, my I god, go that's not what it's been. Me. A couple of days, but I mean, I'll catch you later, nerds. <laughs> Steve seems to only be like religious when it comes to like when he's with Stan in that, like in episodes that are specifically about religion. Wow, he's so mature. I'm mature. You're really enjoy. not though. Perhaps you'll enjoy. He's <laughs> 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 right. I did enjoy that very yes. much though. Yep. Oh god, are they gonna break up for like the hundredth time? Has anyone seen my cell phone? No. Nope. Hey, Dad, why don't you just call your cell from the landline and listen for the ring? Because it's still on vibrate from the movies last oh, night. Oh, okay. Why did I take consider- I'm not gonna lie, 99% of the time I have my phone on silent, which is probably fucking uh, stupid. You know, they should invent a way so that if you lose your cell phone on vibrate mode, you can call it, enter a code, and the phone rings. I mean, that is a great. That's basically idea. find my that's iPhone. That's a million dollar it? idea, and we're gonna sell it. What? Oh, you're having a laugh at me. Francine, no. you know I only laugh at two and a half men. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that show in ages. It was actually a decent show for the mo for like the first five ish seasons. What in the world is this? What the fuck? What is this like Star Wars technology? What? Wait. Where's my invitation? Oh. Why did he literally so invite committed. everyone but Steve? What if he's That's fucking insane. No, no need to wonder. He's if trying to fucking get with her. And somehow I feel like this is go going to work by the end of the episode. Hey, Aton. Just making sure that. Oh, excuse me a moment. Okay. <laughs> if you want to prove you're mature, I don't think doing that's going to help. Steve, I'm sorry, but. Well. Aton asked me to be his date to his bar. Okay, yeah. I, I said yes. I, again, I'm what? not that surprised. That, You're dumping you know, me for that snobby rich kid? Steve, I don't care that he's rich. Yeah, I'm not that surprised because I swear to God, every single episode, Steve is with Debbie. They break up. But normally it happens, you know, by the end of the episode. Not like the first, like, five minutes. Aton cares about his bar mitzvah more than anything, right? Okay. And what do kids What are you going to do? Ruin mitzvahs? it? Gifts. And lots of them. Say no more. Okay, say more. I don't I <laughs> yeah. actually don't know. What is your plan? Aton took what was precious to me, so now I'm gonna take what's precious to him. That's right. I'm gonna rob Aton Cohen's bar mitzvah. Okay, ah, come on. <laughs> what the fuck? That's easier said than done, let's be real. Like, how the hell are you gonna get him without being noticed? All right, Roger. I love how all the injuries are the just magically gone. Rob Aton Cohen's bar mitzvah. Okay. And once Debbie sees him freak out over losing his precious gifts, she'll. I somehow have a feeling. That he's not going to actually care. And she's going to see you stealing them and think you're even more immature. Anyway, the planning stage is over. Time to assemble my crew. I'm in. Sorry, but my plan requires a crack squad of professionals. Starting with a getaway driver. A wheel man? I know the perfect guy. Lucius Mayweather. I think that's a Lucius Mayweather. I was about to say that the fuck. Anyway. Since when is this Harry Potter? Is that Mr. Lucius? Or, uh, oh, oh, wait, it's, of course it's fucking Roger. I'm in. For God's sakes, I'm assembling my own crew. <laughs> that cracker's got a crack in his head, if you ask me. 
What the how fucking hard Your to be pushed back? Bar? Surely that's like In hard to, 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 work, to do. I need the world's greatest computer hacker, okay. the world's best demolitions expert, and the world's most flexible contortionist. Okay, Jesus Christ, that looks I fucking uncomfortable. Yeah, obviously. Me with you three. <laughs> Barry, Wait, Toshi? what the fuck's a Roger in a completely different fucking outfit? Okay, this is the layout of the ballroom. And this is where Aton's gift table will be. Okay. Roger, your job will be to tell Aton that someone's trying to steal his gifts. Okay. That's how, yeah, how does that me, help with this the situation? This plan has more twists and turns than Lombard Street. Okay. You know, from San Francisco? Ah! <laughs> the fact that he had to explain that joke, you know, shows how hilarious it was. Ah, you son of a bitch, you know I'm a <laughs> fighter. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Honestly, I mean, Roger has punched on the stage before, hasn't staring? he? Well, you better start practicing yourself. What do you mean, practicing staring? It's pretty fucking self-explanatory. My God, it's happening. It's really happening. It's happening, all right. Unlike that catchphrase I tried to start. No, uh to your uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a what the fuck? He has a teacher. Where did he get... I st I'm still so confused where Klaus gets all these, like, shit from, because considering it's about... He would have to get it specifically designed for a goldfish. Ready. Oh, oh yes. Is that an ice sculpture? Okay, this is fucking bit over the top. What are you doing here? I'm Barry's plus one. Mazel tov, Eitan. Thanks, Bobby Judy. So glad you could make it. Special day for us all. Stick around. I'm happy to share a little bit of maturity with you. Okay, Come on, then. Barry. Let's go drop off your gift. Wow, this is gonna put my bar mitzvah to shame. The only decorations I have are the police tape left over from oh. my uncle's murder. Jesus Christ, what? That's fucking insane. Oh, wait, he's in. I, I knew. I thought Roger was gonna be in there. Hello, though, Debbie. Shall we dance? I don't think so, Steve. Yeah, I don't think. Come on, old times. Is this YMCA? It's fun to stay at the. <laughs> I was expecting, you know, a little more mature dancing, like fucking, what's it called, like, partner dancing or some shit, not the YMCA, but I mean, I guess it is for like, a bar mitzvah for like a 12, I mean, like a 13, 14 year old. Excuse me, sir, but when I was in the bathroom, I overheard a boy saying he was going to steal your gifts. What? Who? I couldn't see. I pee sitting down because of my joints. Okay. I was gonna steal my gifts. How could I possibly? Is he gonna clock onto the fact, you know, the big giant gift in the floor that came with Steven? Aton, you've been standing here staring at your presents the whole party. Come and dance. No, someone is trying to steal them. What? Come on, it's the chair dance. Fine. <laughs> okay. How the hell does no one notice this? I mean, I guess he's a lot more sneaky than what fucking Steve would be. Let, let me down! They're stealing my presents! Okay. They're stealing my presents! Okay, yeah, <laughs> this shows maturity in it. Wait, was the plan to not steal them? See, thanks to Roger, Aton will think someone's trying to steal the gifts on the cart. But that's just a misdirection. The real gifts we're after are the ones in his jacket. Wait, what? That's actually kind of fucking funny, though. All party long. Because that would all be muddy in that shit, wouldn't it? Attention, I'm no longer accepting requests for Brick House. What the? Stop him! Stop Steve Smith! Aton, what are you doing? Your Is this actually going? Your boyfriend stole my bar mitzvah money. What? The presents were just a clever ruse. He was after the money the whole who, time. Uh, who actually did take uh -huh. it? Wait. This is a card saying that Steve Smith has paid for a tree to be planted in Israel in your name. Oh, wait. That's actually a good part of the plan. Wait, who did take the actual fucking... Oh, is that Aton's money will already have left the ballroom. Wait, what? Oh, shit, okay, that's actually quite smart. It's the perfect plan. Okay, that's oh, actually good. Steve, hilarious. Steve here. That is, unless Snot returns for some reason and blows the whole thing. Hey, am I crazy, or does this... Oh, my God, they're going to blame Elvis, Snot, aren't the they? Elvis. The cards, he stole them. 
Of course, you couldn't stand that my bar mitzvah is a million times. Oh, it's, it's, I hope Steve actually comes from was like, okay, yeah, it was me. Everyone thinks not stole eight times money. We have to come. Clean. Yeah, honestly, you we probably can't. should. We're in too deep. Shh, here he comes. Boo! Stealing from a bar mitzvah totes in a probes. That's okay, Jesus Christ. eight times bar mitzvah. But you're skinheads. You hate Jews. What? What? No. We're the Lex Luthor fan club. Okay. They're the skinheads. Oh my fucking god. The fact that they're just at school openly a bit open about that's insane. Now Snot may never get bar mitzvah, and it's my fault. Yes. All because you refused to do the heist my way. How would you doing a good yeah, how would you have changed anything? We'll never know now, will we? Okay. There's only one way to save Snot's manhood. I have to tell everyone the yeah, truth. Yeah, fucking do Daddy, it. What a surprise. So, how, how's it going? Not so good. I'm pretty hungry. Oh. And I broke up with Aton. Oh. You, you did? What Snot did was unforgivable, but Aton's behavior proved he's not a man at all. I mean, I guess so. But you're going to be fucking even more disappointed when you find out Steve that actually stole the things. If you want to save Snot, the bait dean has to be convinced he deserves another chance. You need to find an expert on Jewish law to defend him. I mean, Where am sure. I find an expert on Jewish law? Roger. You really have to ask me that? Yeah. I of course. Of fucking course. <sighs> Don't you worry, kid. I'll win this for you. We'll get your foreskin cut off, all right? Whoa. What? I don't know. Why? Yeah, what? I don't think Roger knows as much as what he's fucking... He's leading on to. <laughs> Jewish history is a history of unethical conduct. Okay. First, the Pharisees killed Jesus Christ, the only true <laughs> okay. son of God. Is this seriously oh, where boy. the direction is going? Isn't it true that the Jews put a secret sauce on their Rubens that is actually just Thousand Island? And who shot Gianni Versace? Was it a Jew? I don't know. It was in Miami. Okay. All right, enough of this, Michigas. It's not. You are hereby banished. Okay, yeah. Fucking great one, Roger. I'm doomed. <laughs> Wait. Snot had nothing to do with stealing Aton's gifts. It was me. Okay. I, I mean, at least he's finally admitting it. Snot knew nothing about it. I planted those envelopes on him. I did it to get back at Aton for stealing my girlfriend. <gasps> I'm not surprised. Yeah. Steve, how could you? If that is the case, young man, then snot. I mean, you find. I'm glad he admitted it, but it fucking took him long enough, like, literally until the last second. Oh, snot, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it, yeah. Steve. Look, I already lost my girlfriend. I can't lose my best friend. I promise I'll make it up to you. How okay, could you how? ever make it up to me? That was wrong. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess this is how. How the hell did he manage to pull this off, though? Logical. Steve, this is amazing. But how could you afford yeah, all Yeah, how did... I had a garage sale and sold all my toys. Oh. Guys gotta okay. grow up sometime. How much money did he fucking make off that? Because it looks like it was expensive. Hello, it's Snap. What the fuck? I'm Ernest Schlumper, your <laughs> long lost... Is what Roger or someone else gonna somehow try and steal shit from this? Okay, apparently Wait, Roger... I get yeah, what the fuck? I think I'm cracking it. The more the more I get into the show, the, the more and more Roger doesn't make any sense. Because he can just teleport and that shit, apparently. I mean, it's fucking hilarious, though. I guess I didn't realise that Snot was Jewish. Is that Was that ever established in the show before and I just forgot all? But yeah, I mean, I'm glad that Steve, you know, finally fucking admitted it, even though it took him long enough. Like, he should have done it from the start. Like, like the fact that he was willing to fucking throw his friend under the bus and pretend, like, frame him so, you know, Debbie would like him. Which, like, that relationship is interesting because I swear to God, every episode that they're together, they break up by the end of the episode, which, I mean, I guess that's realistic, though, to, like, 14-year-old relationships. I was gonna say middle school relationships, but Steve would be like in high school, wouldn't he? But oh my god, that fucking kid though, that they did try to steal the money from, was a little bit annoying and unbearable. Like, he seemed like such a fucking douchebag. Just like a rich douchebag, which. And like the fact that he was getting that angry just by the idea of someone stealing the presents. Like, yeah, I do agree that that was. did show, you know. A little bit of a lack of maturity when there was no evidence of that even happening. No, but that plan, though, that Steve had was, like, almost perfect. If it wasn't for Snot coming back into the room, he would have been fine. Also, that B plot, kind of, not really. It was only, like, a couple of scenes. With, like, Stan and Francine and that. That was very weird. Like, it felt like they needed to pad out time. So they just chucked it in there and they gave up halfway through. But this was a pretty decent episode, though. Also, they implied in this episode that like American Dad in universe is also a TV show. 
I think Family Guy did an episode like that. But I mean, yeah, besides that, I don't really have anything else to say, to be honest. It was a pretty decent episode. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.